awesome, beautiful story. Give it up for that. Yeah, I like it. It's just one group. I wasn't paying attention. You guys are one group? I like this. You guys are color coded. You're like, we're all different in the middle of us. The fucking Teletubbies over here. I like it. This is a fun group of people. Right, what are we doing? What's going on? Jersey people? Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's fucking hottest July ever on the planet. I don't care what you believe in politically, that happened, all right? It's disgusting. <laughs> wet all the time. It's disgusting right now. It's wet and horny. I don't know why. I don't know why the heat makes me horny. I saw a girl in the bar with a throat tattoo. I got horny. I don't know why. She got one tattoo. It's on her throat. I was like, that's really aggressive. That's like I have one tattoo. It's on my balls. It's just a weird place to start. You know what I'm saying? It's a hard... It's an aggressive move. You saw the girl too? You guys are talking about it. Like, it's true, it's true. She does have a throat tattoo. I like it when you guys are like, he's saying real things. There is a girl out there with a throat tattoo. It's wild. It's fucking nuts in here. He said something that's real. How oh, fun. Wait, so who are you guys to them? They already did, but I gotta know. Uh, they're my parents. Oh, you, oh, those are your parents. Oh, You're making it confusing, sir. Stop touching people in the head. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the fuck any of that is. What she did, perfect. What you did, I don't know. Maybe you are the pedophile he claims you are. You fucking head-touching piece of shit. I don't know you are. What a great group of people. Oh, man, the 6 o'clock show is so different. You guys were like, yeah, get this fucking guy out of here. The 6 o'clock people were like, the sun is still out. Stop talking about your balls. <laughs> How oh, fun, what a fun girl. Listen, I'm trying to do jokes, quick. I'm just kidding. Um, how fun, is there 40, anybody else 40 like me? Cool, yeah, how fun, like you didn't have to get, that what came out of you? Did she just poke you in the body? You go, that was literally your reaction. I'm not 40, now. You're not 40, it was for her? I don't know, why is everyone so hard to talk to? These are like simple questions, is anyone 40? I don't know! Oh, whatever, I'm 40, fuck you guys. Anybody, just clap if I, if I like say something. Like, round of applause if you're 40, just everyone, please. It's his fucking birthday. Round of applause, if, uh, we're not there yet, relax, Jesus Christ. <laughs> round of applause if you have diarrhea right now. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what the hell is going on? He's like, shut up. It's from eating all those children, you pedophiles. I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just writing whatever way. It's his birthday. How old is he? Forty. Okay. Why well, did I don't understand what's happening? <laughs> I said, "Are you forty? And you said, "Whoop!" And then you said, "Nope." It's her. And I don't even know what that meant. <laughs> Sir, are you good? Or do you know where you're? Just blink twice if you're a hostage. Right now. <laughs> what is happening? Are you good? <laughs> you're just forty. That's, that's a good age. I'm forty. I just, it's a good age for dating because I can date someone my age, their mother or their daughter. That's the sweet spot. <laughs> where you need to be. So unless it's going back, you just go down to the next room. You just, what are you up to? This, this crowd is incredible. I, I need you guys to understand how good this crowd is. If you're not having this much fun, you're fucking up, okay? Wherever you are, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is amazing. I've been at three kids with television shows, all right? This is huge for you guys, all right? This is a big night for you guys. <laughs> I did a lot of woo-woo girls. You guys know what that is? Woo woo girls, you know this? It's the girls who have they have like crystals by their bedside table, right? It's like on like an astrology book. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Woo woo girls, right? <laughs> like they're white girls, but the bottom of their feet is black for no reason. You know what I'm <laughs> they can't figure out how to get the bottom of their feet clean. You know what I'm talking about? Woo woo girls. You know what I'm saying? Girl gets a yeast infection, just rubs coconut oil on it. No doctors, just witch hazel and coconut oil all day long. Woo woo girls. They carry around period blood with them for no reason. They just have like a, like, a, like a little cup of it all the time. It's a pint of blood they carry with them at all times. They sprinkle it on things. They like write manifestation letters. And burn it into the sky. And let, 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 the, let the, 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 for, the forces? I don't know. I don't know who they're waiting for. They let the forces like fix it for them. They carry that shit around like Frank's Red Hot. They just like, got period blood on all the time. Just ready to sprinkle it on stuff. Woo, woo girls, right? You come in your house, it smells like sage, and you're like, what happened in here? She's like, I burned sage. I was trying to clear the energy. You're like, I live here, that's my energy, all right? Shitty energy lives here, so I'm trying to clear it. I was with this girl, she's had her period blood with her. I had a plant in my house, it was dying. She just started sprinkling her period blood into the plant. She read a book that said that this shit. By the way, it works. It fucking worked. It, I mean, it, was like a, it was like four hours, and the thing was like, it was like making flowers. It was like, it was like not a thing that makes 
Vegas flowers, right? I don't know anything about it. And it was thriving. And I was like, maybe men and women are equal. And I jizzed in one of my plants, and it died in like 30 minutes. Like, we're not, we're not, don't do that. We're not the same. We're not equal. What a fun crew, man. Are you doing your fact check? I've heard that's true. That happened. I was there when he jizzed in the plant. Right next to the throat tattoo girl. I like her. I'm bringing you over as if that really happened. I like her. You wear that Teletubby shirt and have just white girl energy in 2024. That's really happening. I like it. It's good stuff. You said, what, 30 years? 30 years married? More? Okay. You guys answer questions weird. How long are you married? 49. 49 years. There, there we go. What's the secret? Besides, like, having a dump truck or whatever you're starting. Just drive a dump truck and you're good. Yeah. I don't speak. You don't speak? Those were the good days when you didn't speak. I understand. Every time we try to talk to you, it's like this fucking crazy thing. That is a good, that is a good solution. I like that. 49 years, that's cool. My parents have been together 44, so a little, a little less. My grandparents. You know the secret to a long-lasting marriage? Never get a divorce. That's all you gotta do. You can stay together forever. His grandpa moves into the garage. That's how you do it, baby. My grandfather had Alzheimer's, a horrible, debilitating disease that makes brilliant people forget their accomplishments, but it also made my grandfather attracted to my grandmother again. So there's, a, there's, a, there's an upside. He's like living in memory care, and she would show up, and he's like, who's this lady, huh? Come over here, toots. He's trying to grab her on the ass like an old piece of shit. And she was like, God, stop it. Nobody's trying to grab her on the ass for like 52 years. <laughs> say what you want about the memory disease. That should save my grandparents' marriage. <laughs> it's fun. There's something good about it. There's something, there's like an upside to it because the idea is that like you could just forget all the bullshit, right? He just forgot all the bullshit. How great would your parents' marriage be if your mom could just forget that your dad got a hand job at the office <laughs> Christmas party? It was 1987, all right? They were doing cold. Like, let it go, Blanche. Let it go. I just found out my parents are perverts. I didn't know. I had no idea. I went home. I went home to get my my eight millimeter tapes. Remember that? Said that 80s dads filmed everything, right? And he's like, my dad didn't want to talk to anybody and things, so he's just in the back with the camera. And I went home to get all the tapes so I could put them on Instagram. I'm like a fucking I'm a millennial. Let me let me digitize this shit. And I went to get the tapes. And my mom is in the room when I'm trying to get these tapes from my parents' house. And she comes in the room and she goes, ah, I can feel her energy. She goes, ah, no, I don't think you should do that. And she leaves the room and goes, get to my dad. My dad walks in the room, he just walks right over to the box, he puts his hand on the box, and he just goes, you're not taking the tapes. And then I looked at these two people and I like waved the room. And I was like, oh my god, you guys with the... My dad invented POV, this fucking piece of I, it makes so much sense now. Like it makes sense who I am. Like I had no idea. Like, just forty. I had no, like now every time I send a dick pic, I feel like I'm following in my father's footsteps. You, know? you guys are dope, man. Thank you so much.